Hey teachers, if you are already using ClassPoint or if you're thinking about using ClassPoint, this is the video that you need to watch. ClassPoint 2.0 was just released and there's all kinds of new features, new tools that you can use to make your PowerPoint presentations more interactive and I'm gonna go through my favorites right now. Now before we get started, I do just want to let you know that the purpose of this video is to go over some of these new features that were just released to ClassPoint, particularly the gamification features. Now if you're looking for more of a step-by-step -step basic tutorial, make sure to check out this other video that I have here on my channel. It's more of a beginner's guide where I go through the basics, I go through all of the activities in the toolbar and just give you that step-by-step -step tutorial. So make sure to check that one out and then come back here. Okay, so the first thing you need to know to use the new class point tools and features is that you have to download those new tools and features or class point 2.0. Now, whether you already have ClassPoint installed on your computer or you've never used it before, you're going to need to do the same thing. And that is go to www.classpoint.io and click the free download button. After you click on that button, a guide will pop up that will kind of walk you through the steps of how to finish installing that on your computer. Once it has finished installing, go ahead and open up your PowerPoint program and in the top toolbar, you will now see a tab that says class point. Go ahead and click on that tab and sign in using the login information you created. It should just be your email address and a password. Then you will see all of those class point tools appear in your toolbar. Something exciting that I do want to mention is that right now ClassPoint is offering a free 14 day trial of the pro version and upgrading to pro, it gives you even more interactive tools, even more features for engaging with your students and allows you to create even more classes. Some of the tools and features I'm gonna be showing you today are available through that pro version. So just click the upgrade to pro button in the class point toolbar and you'll be able to try out all of those pro features for free for 14 days. Now of all all of the new tools and features that were just introduced as part of this update, my absolute favorite is the gamification feature. And what this allows you to do is award and deduct points to students throughout the day. And I like this because not only does it make your PowerPoint presentations even more engaging when you see students participating and interacting, you can award them points directly within that interactive presentation, or you can leave kind of like the scoreboard up throughout the day that allows you to award and deduct points and it can be an awesome classroom management tool. So let's go ahead and jump onto my computer. I'm gonna show you how to set up your class and how you can use these gamification features. All right, so to get started using these gamification features, you have to start by creating your class. So to do that in the class point toolbar, you're just gonna click on class list. And I'm gonna start by showing you how to create a new class. So you'll click on add new class. You're going to name your class. So we'll call this just Vestal Science. And then you're going to create a class code, which this will likely be what your students will use to log in to the presentation. So I usually just use a random mix of letters and numbers just for added security purposes. And you'll click next. You, I forgot to mention, but you could also upload, if we go back, you can upload an image to this class as well if you want. Now you're just going to type in each of your students' names here. You can also import your class list if you have it on a CSV. Okay, when you're finished typing your class list, just click finish and you will see the whole class list appears here. Now you can pull this class list up anytime just by clicking on class list and clicking on the class. 
Okay, so here's just a few things to keep in mind when you're looking at this class list. Recently earned is going to tell you the number of stars that students have earned recently. Now this column is blank right now because this is a new class and they haven't earned any stars yet. The stars right here, this is going to tell you the total number of stars that they have earned over time. And then last, this is going to show you what level students are on. So as they earn stars, they move up different levels. And it's a great idea to have some kind of reward system in place. So when they get to level two, they get this reward, level three, another reward, etc. You can actually adjust how many stars are needed to get to each level. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Now, if you click the three buttons over here, or the three dots over here, you can adjust the stars at any time. So I can give Brady two stars and I can also subtract stars by clicking the three dots. The last thing I want to show you is you can click reset stars right here anytime to reset the stars for your entire class. But know that when you do that, you can't get the stars back. So make sure when you hit reset, you really do want to reset them. I think it can be a fun idea to reset at the end of a week, a month, a quarter, and just kind of have a fresh start to start over. But make sure your students know that upfront. We're gonna be working on earning stars over this period of time. Now, as I mentioned, you can change the number of stars needed to reach each level at any time. I'll show you how to do that right now. We can exit out of the class list. You're gonna to go to settings and you are going to click on gamification. You will see these are the amount of stars that automatically are set. But if I want to change these numbers, I can click edit levels. So let's say I wanna change this to 10. I want to change this to 15 and so on you can go through and change each of these and then just click save levels and that is now what it will take for students to reach each of these levels all right, so I showed you how you can add and deduct points to any student by using that class list, but now I also want to show you how you can add and deduct points right within a presentation. So first thing you're going to want to do is share your presentation in slideshow mode or presentation mode. And then you're going to need to make sure that your students are logged in on their end. Now your students can log in from any mobile device or desktop computer. They are going to go to classpoint.app to log in. And in order to log in, they are going to type the class code, which remember was that code that you created for the class. If you can't remember what it is, you'll also see it right up here in this corner. And that is what they can type in as well. Now this part is very important. When your students are logging in, after they type the class code, it's going to ask for their name. They need to type their name exactly as you have their name in the class list. If they type it different from how it is in the class list, they're not going to be allowed into the presentation. And this is just an important security feature. So make sure your students type their name exactly as it is on that class list. Now, once they log in, they're going to be able to see the slide that you have up and the way that you are interacting with it. They are going to be able to see the number of stars they have, the level that they're on, and also the number of stars they need to reach that next level. Now, I'm not gonna get too into each of the interactive features and how to use each of those because I've already covered that pretty thoroughly in my previous class point video, which you can find linked down in the description. But I do want to show you how you can award points while students are interacting with the presentation. So let's say I have this pulled up and I want to have a multiple choice to show which region the arrow is pointing to. So I click on multiple choice and that question becomes open for my class to answer on their devices. So they click their answer and hit submit. Um, I'm able to see how the students are responding. When I'm finished, we can hit close submission. 
and you'll still be able to see how all of the students responded and you can also award stars to all of your students and your student will be able to see that star pop up on their device and then when it goes back to their main screen they'll be able to see that they have one new star so that's just one way that you can award points while in a presentation so the other way that you can award and also deduct points while you're in a presentation is by clicking on the class code up here when you do that you'll be able to see all of your students that are in this class and the points that they have straight away. Now I can choose to award stars to the whole class this way. I can also click or hover over a student. When I hover over the star and click on it, I can give them one additional star and you can see that also moved this student up a level. I can also choose to subtract stars if I hover over a student and click the arrow pointing down, you can see that it took stars away. Now this is what I mean when I talk about leaving your class list up on the board and adding and subtracting points throughout the day as a classroom management tool. Just leave this list or scoreboard, whatever you want to call it, up on your smart board and it's a great way to help keep those students on task. Now, another thing that you can do that is very helpful with this class list or scoreboard is change your class. So if you teach a lot of classes and you just wanna be able to move between classes very quickly, all you have to do is click change class and then you can change to any of the other classes that you've created very quickly. You'll see the new class list just came up, my new class code just came up, but it's a very easy way to navigate between classes without even having to exit out of your presentation. Now the very last thing I want to show you related to this gamification feature is how you can pull up your leaderboard throughout the day. So if you just click this trophy icon at the bottom of your screen, it will pull up your leaderboard so you can see who is in the lead and you'll see your top students for the day. There's this fun little podium over here, um, but this is just a great way. You can click show more to see the whole class to see who's ahead for the day and maybe encourage some other students to gain some more stars. So just in the few minutes that I have been sharing these awesome gamification features with you, I'm sure you can see how this tool can be so helpful in your classroom. I really like it for two reasons. First of all, I find that when I am doing these interactive presentations that the gamification and point system, it's just a great way to engage the students even more and to keep them focused on the presentation and on task. I can award them whether we're all working together in the class or if they're working remotely, I can send out those points to tell them good job for what they're doing. The second reason I'm really liking these gamification features is because I can pull that class scoreboard or class list up and leave it up on a smart board throughout the day. And as I see students on task, I can award points. If I see students who are off task, I can deduct points. And it's a great way to help them refocus. You can see that when you start awarding points to students who are on task, the other students notice it. They kind to start to look around and notice it and it redirects them as well so those are two reasons why i'm really loving this feature and i'd love to hear how you're using it or what ideas you have for using it down in the comments leave a comment and let me know now the gamification tools are just one of the many new features that have recently been added to class point there's lots of other features that i'm also really excited about excited to be using more but i don't have time to go too into detail with all of those or this video could get very long but i do just want to highlight them quickly and one of the things that i am very excited about is the ability for students to add video and audio recordings to the presentation as they're going through and interacting. I find this to be really helpful for homework so they can record and upload responses. 
Another tool that I am very excited about is the random name picker. So if you click on this at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a wheel pops up with all of the students' names on it. You can click on it and it will randomly select a student's name. This is great to increase student participation, especially when you're working as a whole class. Another tool that I really like is the embedded browser. And with the embedded browser, you can just click the icon at the bottom of the screen when you're in presentation mode, and it will actually pull a browser up within the presentation. So you don't have to go through the hassle of exiting out of a presentation and then opening the browser and searching for what you want and then exiting out of that and going back to the presentation. You can just do it all together at the same time. And the last feature that I want to highlight that I'm very excited about is the draggable objects tool. This is a new interactive feature in addition to things like the multiple choice and fill in the blanks, but this will actually allow you to drag and drop items. You can see I've been using this map of Virginia in my presentation throughout this video, and you can drag and drop the text boxes to be able to label the different regions. This is really a great tool for map activities, diagram activities, if you're sequencing or showing steps in a process, lots of great ways that you can use this new interactive feature. So I hope you've enjoyed this video all about some of my new favorite class point features. And if you haven't already, don't forget to go to www.classpoint.io and click on that free download button so that you can start using this in your classroom today. So until next time, happy teaching.